All right, this is a demo of form debugger. It will allow you to debug your input form code with Visual Studio and it should allow you to fix your form issues more than 10 times faster. Here is a typical form load which has a problem. I'm comparing a loan amount with a string 500,000 and uh, it has another problem where on this button I'm accessing a field which doesn't exist. So uh, let's uh, have a look at how the form shows in Encompass. When I load it, it shows me a loan amount is less than 500,000, but it's uh, $2 million. The reason why it's less is that uh, it compares stringwise and uh, 220 is definitely less than 500. And uh, when I click this button, it errors out because uh, there is some kind of a problem. The field ID 12356 uh, doesn't exist. Now let's see how, how form debugger helps us fix issues like this. First, we click a button to launch the solution with form, with form code and the code is loaded in Visual Studio. Second, we can debug attach to encompass like this. And uh, when uh, the breakpoints are hit, we'll get back into Visual Studio. So let's uh, reload the form. And as you can see, I have the breakpoint hit. Now when I step through, Obviously, when I compare get field on two and it returns two two zero something, it's less than this. I can't really fix it in Visual Studio right now, but what I can do is I can bypass execution using Visual Studio. So I can reroute the next statement to the L6 statement and keep going. So it actually shows your loan amount is greater than 500,000. So if in your form code, you have uh, one block of code which let's say enables certain things and another block of code which disables, you can actually reroute that code execution to do the right thing as opposed to the wrong thing according to the logic and then fix the form later. Now here is a second example. I click this button and now instead of seeing the error, Visual Studio breaks on that uh, problem. Now I can say break and again I can't fix it right now because the code is running, it's already been compiled but what I can at least do is uh, change variables. So for example, let's say I want to display hello here instead of uh, whatever the field was. Hello here. And uh, let's say I want to bypass this statement and go to the next one. I say set next statement. Where is that? Right here. Go. And now the form didn't break. This way I can keep debugging and testing the form and figuring out what's wrong with the code before I actually fix it. So now, to fix the code, what I will have to do is basically close loan debugger, for, sorry, form debugger. You don't need to save it. Then go back into input form builder and let's say we just want to fix this one. So instead of macro get field, what I will do is I will do loan fields to decimal is less than 500,000 since I know that uh, this is a problem, right? I can't fix the other one because it's uh, just a bogus field. So something will have to be redone. Now let's say I save the form. I reload it here. Now the, the form code is fixed. And if you notice, long form debugger now actually got the new code. So look at this. Form code, view code. I scroll to the bottom toward form load. As you can see, it picked up the new code. I hope you like this demo and I hope you'll use form debugger for your encompass.